So good morning, everyone. Thank you for having me. Thank you for allowing me to present today. I will try very hard not to put you all to sleep because title insurance, let's face it, who talks about title insurance? When, raise your hand and tell me, when is the last time you talked about title insurance? Probably never, right? Unless, unless you were literally sitting at the closing table and signing the, that 86,000 page document, right? Um, so I will try not to bore you, but Real quick, this is my family, just, you know, getting to know me, um, me and my husband, my son, um, she's technically my stepdaughter. Um, so I always tell people I have love and heartache for two children, but I can only lay claim to one. So, um, and then this down here, who the little boy with the dark hair, who is on the Lego figure at Legoland last year, he is my mentee. He is from Guatemala. Um, and him and my son are the same age and they're like besties now. So, um, that's, that's pretty much my life <laughs> besides the title insurance. So these are the things we'll cover, um, with title insurance, who are we, what makes us unique and who are my ideal referral partners. So we might as well jump right into it. Um, so what is title insurance? I think most of you, no, with title insurance, although it's funny because a lot of times when I have one-to-ones, people are like, I kind of know what title insurance is, but I don't. <laughs> so there's always that like hesitation. Like, I think I might know, but um, so basically title insurance is just what it says here. I don't want to read my slides to you, but it provides homeowners and lenders protection from financial loss and legal expenses. What kind of claim do you ask? I mean, the claims are, these are the ones that are on here, are the most common claims, but there's so many more. Um, there's literally just random things that can come up. Um, you know, with living in a digital world, David Quick and, you know, whoever else does IT security and stuff. I mean, we live in such a digital world. Our information's out there right? So it's not going away. Like forgery and fraud and stuff like that is not going away anytime soon. Um, just to give you guys an, an example, um, I had a one-to-one -one with a man a few months back who he basically said, you know, 20 years ago, I, my wife and I bought, bought our first house. And he said, all of a sudden we looked at the closing document and he said, we were paying like two or $3,000 for something called title insurance. And I asked about it and I basically argued against paying for it because I thought it was a bunch of BS. <laughs> well, the second time around him and his wife bought, they upgraded, they bought a second house. They purchased the house from um, a, an investor who basically flipped the house. So he purchased the house redid it, sold it. He said about six months after they purchased the house, there was a knock on the door. And it guess what? Guess who it was? It wasn't their next door neighbor offering them a beautiful, you know, apple pie that she just baked out of the oven, welcoming them to the neighborhood. It was some sort of um, court clerk coming to tell them that they owed $75,000 in unpaid liens. Um, and he then remembered, huh, hmm, I have title insurance, <laughs> which I thought was BS, but now I'm, guess what? Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call my lender and say, um, hey, we have an issue here and we need to call the title insurance company, right? So they did get that, they did that, get that claim um, resolved. But basically how that happened was the investor who they purchased the house from who that, that guy or that woman, um, he did not pay all of the subcontractors that he hired to do the work on the house. So you never know. Um, all right, so moving on. Um, so who, who is True Concept? We're actually family owned and operated. Um, um, I, some people feel that that makes us sound small. We're not, we're not small, we're a national company. We cover, um, we, we are directly licensed in 38 states. And that's, you know, that's kind of a big deal. <laughs> it's, it's a big feat keeping up on all the licensing and everything. And then we have um, vendor relationships in the other states. But um, 
okay, in the sake of time here, what makes us unique? Um, so we're national. That's one of the things that kind of makes us unique. Most title companies are only licensed in the state that they're located in, or maybe a couple of the surrounding states. Um, another thing that really makes us unique is that we specialize in reverse mortgages which not everybody does reverse mortgages. Um, as Andrea knows, reverse mortgages are very a very unique process from beginning to end. And we've been doing them for a very long time now. We do about a couple hundred of them a month, you know, depending on how on how busy it is. But it's been a good foundation of our business. So and it's not as um, cyclical, I could say, as the re, the refinance market and the purchase market. It's been a, like I said, it, it's been a good foundation for us. So um, we have, we have um, a portal, a client portal where our clients can go in at their convenience and pull quotes for the loans that they have coming up. Um, so who, with all that being said, who are my ideal referral partners? Um, so mortgage professionals who work for a bank and why, why specifically those? Um, because bank mortgage loan officers are nationally licensed because the, the bank is nationally licensed. So, um, they they're always great partners. Now, just because they're licensed nationally doesn't always mean that they don't that they do business nationally. But we don't know until we ask, right? So, anybody that works for a bank and does does mortgages there, um, of course, more reverse mortgage lenders, Longbridge Financial. I've been trying to get their attention for a while. They used to be one of our clients, and then all of a sudden they like turned off the faucet like that. So if anybody knows anybody at Longbridge Financial you can introduce me to, that would be great. Um, owners, branch managers, operations managers, vendor managers, those are all kind of keywords to pay attention to um, when you hear somebody that's in the mortgage industry. Realtors in Florida, that's our, uh, Florida is our main base. So um, we have a pretty heavy purchase presence in, in Florida. We do purchases, in most other states as well, um, but Florida is our, our, our main base for that. Um, other title companies, you might think that's weird, but as I said, we have that national footprint and most other title companies are just licensed in the state that they're located in. So other title companies would be good referral partners if they're looking to expand their footprint without the cost um, and the time associated with getting licenses in other states, because it is, it's not that easy. And it depends on what, st what state we're talking about. You know, some states make it easier than others. Um, but if they're open and, and wanting to work with a title company that can help them expand their footprint, then they're, they're great for us. Um, same with practicing real estate attorneys and retiring real estate attorneys. We can offer we can offer the retiring real estate attorneys a way to um, keep their book of business, retire, but still earn an income. Um, the goal, the golden goose client for us, is a call center manager at a large mortgage company or bank. Um, they're also called consumer direct managers. They are basically, um, anytime a bank or a mortgage company, say Loan Depot, does marketing, like mass marketing, they have an 800 number that all of those calls are directed to. That's their call center. So a call center can give a title company anywhere from a couple hundred or well, hundreds of files a month or anywhere to like a thousand or more files a month. So that's big volume. Um, And then basically, oh, I don't know why I didn't like that slide, but so these are, this is what our coverage map looks like. So this is what it looks like when I say national, just to give you like a visible picture of it. Um, so the light, the light gold ones are all the states that we're directly licensed in. Um, we have offices. We actually have a new office now in Utah, um, but there's an, our office in California they are the main operation center for our reverse processing, um, Plano, Texas, and then Florida. So 
So that's about it. Is there any questions anybody has? Got a minute have a question. for questions. Any, anybody have questions? Andrew? I do. I do. <laughs> okay. Hi, Heather. I like, think so many. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Uh, so I just have a question because I've always been curious. Do you know, I know that the cost of title uh, insurance in particular is expensive and it's, it's expensive for a reason. It protects, a, it protects the owner, protects the bank, so on and so forth. It protects the title insurance company, but it's state regulated. Is it state regulated in every state? Um, I don't know. I want to say that some counties regulate it. I'm don't okay. quote me on that. I'm not the operations person, so I don't deal with it all the time, but I let's, let's just say that it's definitely state specific. Um, if not somewhere in some places, county specific. Um, so yeah, the percentage that you're going to pay varies, definitely varies across the country. Right. Um, yeah. But you know, if you look at it, if you look at the cost of it, so yeah, it adds usually on average about two or three thousand dollars. We'll just say on average to the cost of the closing, right? But if you look at it, it's two or three thousand dollars on top of three hundred thousand dollars or or more, you know, um, and that you pay once, and that's a big chunk of money. It's you know you're insuring that big chunk of money. It's not like, and you pay once. Like I said, it's not like car insurance, health insurance. Right. You know, you're paying it every month you know, um, and it's usually the percentage of what, of what you're paying versus your, your investment is a lot higher than, than the title insurance. So it's absolutely necessary. I totally get it. Um, I was just curious. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely varies across, across the country, which you would think something like title insurance, honestly, would be kind of universal. right? Right. But it's not, it's not at all. Well, even, I mean, guaranteed rate is nationwide and sometimes the programs we're allowed to do will vary from state to state. Yeah. So. Yep. Yep. Okay. Thank you very much, Heather. Scott, 30 seconds for a quick, quick question. Okay. So Heather, to let's shut up a one-to-one. Um, mm-hmm. I have a uh, fellow that Drew and I know, Robert Waxman. Uh, you're in Jersey? I'm actually up in New York. Okay. That's even better. Okay, and uh, my back office, they have their own bank. I don't really do much because I don't like proprietary, but I'm going to find out if they do mortgages and see if we can connect you. But let's yeah, appreciate um, it. Uh, yeah, let's yeah, let, yep, put, let's, your, put your email in the chat. Definitely, and I'll send I will. Let's set something up. Yep, mm-hmm. I will. Thank you. Thank you, Heather. Wonderful presentation. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Heather.